a real quick interview. Uh, 25 questions about myself. Tell a little bit about... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I always trip over my words. Tip one. Um, my name is Angela Ford. I live in Kansas in, near Salina. And um, I'm married and have two kids. I'm a stay-home mom. So I have nothing better to do than um, feed the chickens, chase the chickens, go after the chickens, and um, clean up after the chickens. And watch clean. kids and clean do clay. House. Clean house. That's last priority. So that's why I do clay all the time. And I love it. I love miniatures. I love being able to make whatever I want. And um, however I want. And being out here in the middle of Kansas, we don't have very much selection from for miniatures. There's no miniature store anywhere I close to me. And maybe in Kansas City, four hours away. But that's a long drive for miniatures. Huh? Here, let me help you. It's crooked. It's crooked? Oh. Ah, there we go. All right, try that. Catherine's my helper. Um, number two, when or when... Uh, I bet that meant, what What led you, led you down the path to miniatures? I don't know, when I was little I just liked miniatures. Um, I had a hard childhood and lots of sisters, six sisters, single mom, and miniatures. You could decorate your miniature house any way you wanted and pretend that everything was perfect. So I really like that. And uh, mm -hmm. then I just grew to really enjoy like miniatures all together. Number three, do you create, collect, or both? Both. I definitely create. Mama, hmm? You put the, this with the others? Yeah, they're in here. I made this for you. Thank you. I, I it, love it. I made it. Thank I made you. it with those beads just for you. It is lovely. Thank you. Oh, look at that. It's pretty. Both of these are almost the same. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, they're almost the, the same. Oh, cool. Okay, do I collect? Yes, I collect some miniatures, but mostly oh, oh, I just fill mommy. my dollhouse with furniture and um, stuff Can that I can't make or don't want to make. Can I open? No. Once it's closed, it's pretty well closed. But you could have another empty one. There's okay. some in the bottom here. Okay. Um, number four, do you consider yourself a beginner, enthusiast, artisan, or collector? Um, I'm always a beginner because just about every project I make, I'm making it for the first time for you guys because you're asking me and I've never made this stuff before. So it's always um, a beginner type thing, even though I've been doing it since about 2002, I think, is when I started playing with clay. And uh, it's 2010 now, so right now, eight years. And, of course, that changes as time goes on. So, um... Number five, what uh, what area of miniatures is your specialty? I never really thought about it. I just started making foods, and um, I guess now that I've made so many foods, I'm kind of known for making foods. I can't open so, these up. Um, pumpkin pie, I need these. hamburger, and french fries, wedding cake, and all. Christmas cookies. And here is my... Need turkey though. backward legs fun need them um no we're not going to open all those teeny tiny beads why that's way too many okay i'll only do this one how about that all right put the other ones back and you can do just this one What area of miniatures food? What scale do you prefer? I work in 112. That's for every one foot in the real world. It's one inch in miniature world. That's my favorite size. It's the most common size. What is your favorite style or period? Um, modern, current. I like my dollhouse with TV and radio, stuff like that. Dishwasher if they had it. Um, refrigerator stuff like that. Now I do want to do a um, another dollhouse with like a um, hundred years ago, so like 1800 something. Uh, that would be pretty cool. Is there a miniaturist Mommy, that... Oh, and if I ever did one I from the future, 
yeah, I'm a huge Star Trek fan, so um, anything to do with Star Trek, that would be beyond awesome. I need to change speech. Okay. Here you go. Well, thank you. Okay. Um, is there a miniaturist that inspired you? No, not really. I thought about that, and I just... I can't think of anybody off the top of my head that really inspired me. I just um, make stuff myself, and um, that's about it. Number nine. Could you describe a little bit about your creative process? Sure. I have tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of requests. And I look through there and I think, what can I make? And with the, however much time I have with the kids and, you know, life, laundry and stuff like that. And then I do my best to try and make one. And if it turns out half decent, then I will. And right now, I guess I'm working on a duck. This is my, my, my current project. I'm working on a little duckling. And it's not even done yet. It doesn't have wings. And here, you can see how ugly the first couple were. I didn't even get a mouth. Neither did this one. Oh, it's not too bad, but it's not done. Anyway, um, the creative process is you just try and try and try, and then once you get it, then you uh, get on camera and do that. Do it on camera. And if it's not perfect, well, sometimes you just have to move on. Number 10, are you currently working on a project? And, oh, look at that. That was my project. Number 11, what are the rewards and challenges in creating miniatures? Of course, it's tiny, so you need things like this big for fingers. And you have to think in, in small. You, you have to, like when you're thinking about how big you want a cookie, you think about a Barbie. And how big would a Barbie, how, how big would a cookie be for a Barbie? A Barbie is about... Um, probably half an inch too long, too tall, because I think she's six inches. No, she's more than that. Dang, how big is a Barbie? Anyway, a Barbie's a little too big, and, um, just think a little bit smaller than that, and that would be perfect. So, here's, uh, 112, what you need, buddy. Some of the rewards are, um, well, when my... The projects turn out like I like them to do. This, these are calla lilies. And um, here's some ravioli. Turned out looking like actually ravioli should look. Of course, I have it overflowing in the pan and you wouldn't do that, but it looks better. So I did it that way. But the biggest reward I'd have to say is Catherine's mm -hmm. creations that she makes. It just, they just make me so happy to sit here and do crafts with her and see how she grows and learns and um she usually gives me these um things that she makes and it's very special and i get to keep them and that's the the biggest reward with working with clay is Catherine. number 12 have you always been creative or is it something that you discovered later on in life always 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 couldn't help it always been that way number 13 has your work been published no nope. Either online, in a magazine, and if so, where? Nope, 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 and no. And, um, just on, on, uh, YouTube. What is the most unusual miniature that you have made or own? The most unusual one that I've ever made, and I own it, is my gargoyle teapot. I was really in this teapot phase for a while. I made a bunch of different teapots. And this one's my very favorite. And he has this crazy hat on with some little grapes. And his mouth is the where you pour the tea out, and he has a little handle back here. And he's my little, like, Halloween teapot with dark black eyes. And he's just so cute, but he does not open. The little teapot lid does not come open. And, uh, there, that's him. I can't replicate this little guy, let me tell you. I've tried. Doesn't work. So, that one's my favorite. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. What's your favorite miniature in... What is the most unusual? Okay, what's your favorite miniature? Um, let me go grab him. Hold up. Okay, it's kind of like a five-way split for things that are my favorite, but, um, 
everything that's my favorite somebody has made and given to me. This is uh, my dear friend Katie Steffes made this little guy. Um, he's a little, little teeny tiny dragon and uh, he's my cute little dragon. And then Catherine, she made a strawberry all on her own. She was four. And uh, that's her little strawberry. Right, that's a favorite of mine. My sister Sarah made these miniature books, the Twilight books. Um, I love miniature books and miniature books, or well, I love books. Miniature books that actually have pages are really cool. And these not only have pages, they also have the, um, they have the binding, like the real pictures on the edges binding. And she sells these. So if you email me, I'll give her your email and she can, you guys can talk. And uh, my older sister, Laura, gave me, for my miniature board, I have a miniature board that doesn't really go in the house, but the miniature board, these little teeny tiny um, barrel of monkeys. <laughs> I think they're so funny. I never knew they made them so tiny. I just love it. And my fifth miniature is a, my very favorite, is a little teeny tiny white porcelain kitty that is about the size of the tip of my little pinky finger. And my sister Amy gave it to me, and Catherine ran off with it. When I was making this video, um, I went to go find it and realized it was gone, and I didn't come back to making this video for about um, five days. So I was pretty disappointed to find that it was missing, but it hopefully will turn up in Catherine's room at some point. Anyway, those are my five favorites. Number 16, how many dollhouse dollhouses or miniature buildings do you own, and did I build it or buy it? I bought the kits, and I've, I've had five of them, two of them, one was a barn, and the other one was, oh gracious, a building, it was a house, and when we moved from Texas to Kansas, the movers um, disappeared, and um, they, they stole them, so they're gone, but right now I have one dollhouse uh, that's a house two-story house and then I have a Victorian house that's in the kit it's not built yet and I have a um, in the kit also not built is a, a lighthouse so I have to build those two when I have more time let's see 17 do you create your miniatures in a workroom shop studio or the dining room table oh yeah and real advanced I'm in my laundry room seriously um, I have a table in my laundry room, and that's where I do all my stuff. There's no window either. Wish there were. What's the best compliment you've ever received about your creations? Um, I guess just that people like my work was, is the best compliment. And my favorite thing about people um, liking it is when they say that um, they they like the tutorial because then they can make it themselves and it's always it's always more uh, satisfying for an artist to make something so that's pretty cool what is your most embarrassing miniature failure oh that's an easy one that would be my turkey with the uh, two back legs on backwards I uh, that's my phone don't worry about it anyway, I actually got this all the way on on the, um, I wonder who's calling. I actually got the video up and everything, never realized it. I even raised chickens. You would think I would know how to make a turkey, right? No, didn't notice it. I don't know what's wrong with me. So that was really, really embarrassing. Um, do fam family members get involved? Just Catherine. Catherine, she'll sit here and she'll do miniatures and clay with me and have a blast. And my husband thinks I waste my time, and my son thinks it's boring. So, Catherine and I have a lot of fun together. Do you have another talent or hobby? Um, if I tell you guys the other hobbies I do, could you please not all ask for me to make everything in all those different areas? Because it's a little intimidating with the hundreds of requests that I have for clay. And then if I tell you, oh yeah, I crochet, I do needle felting, which I do intend to do, to upload the, um, the video that I made a long time ago, and um, I do jewelry, and sewing, and I write stories only for myself, and um, what else do I do? 
Oh yeah, scrapbooking. But I haven't done that in quite a while. Just for the baby books. And... <coughs> I do not paint or draw. I guess that's about all I do. Mostly. So, yes, I do. Just, just any, any... I try a whole lot. I've done cross stitch. I do lots of different things. It's fun. And see, do you have another talent or hobby? Blah blah blah. Do you have a shop either online? No, I don't sell anything, so I don't need a shop. But if I did, I would probably do eBay or Etsy, or just tell you that it's for sale on YouTube and go that way. When miniature related web? Oh, what? It's upside down to me. I'm sorry. What miniature related website do you spend the most time visiting? I don't have time to <laughs> visit miniature websites. Um, I guess um, YouTube because I like watching videos too. So maybe YouTube. Uh, I don't really spend that much time online looking at other miniatures. Is there anything else you would like to tell us? Not right now. Don't can't think of anything. If you could own the dollhouse or miniature of your dreams, what would it be? Um, I guess that would have to be. It would be really cool to have a uh, miniature Star Trek: The Next Generation bridge with all the little characters in there, and uh, yeah, that would be that would be my dream miniature. That would be so cool because I'm you know sci-fi freak. Um, Star Trek Next Generation. Big fan. So, that is me in a nutshell. And you guys are welcome to comment. And hopefully I can get more videos out all the time. I have no intention of stopping. And, um... I do make money from the ads that are on there. And every bit of that money goes in split 50-50 into my two children's college funds. So, um... That's, that's all. Talk to you later. And so like me, um, I do want to send out a thank you to all of you guys who watch and say nice things. And especially the people who say nice things to Catherine because I do read those to her. And she gets a little smile on her face and gets very happy that um, people, she thinks that people are learning from her. So I think it's that's very sweet. And she, she has two grandparents who are teachers and she really values teaching. So... She loves that, and thank you for all your kind comments. 